Now today we are doing chapter number eight. Try this page number one sixty nine. First of all, here we are required to we are required to understand few formulas. Then these are the formulas which are to be required in this. Try these, and these formulas you have to learn first or write in your notebooks. Then you will start the try these. When selling price is more than cost price, selling price is more than cost price, then there will be gain. Gain means profit. Then formula will be S P minus. cp and second when cp is more than sp then there will be loss and formula of loss will be sp minus cp then if you are required to find the gain percent or profit percent gain and profit both are same If you are required to find out the gain percent, then gain upon CP multiply hundred. Or if you are required to find out loss percent, then loss upon CP into hundred. Then if you are required to gain percent and if you are required to find out loss percent, then these formulas you are required to apply. Now these are the formulas for selling price and cost price. If gain percent is given or loss percent is given, then S P selling price formula hundred plus gain percent upon hundred multiply C P. If gain percent is given, and one more formula of selling price, if loss percent is given, then hundred minus loss percent upon hundred multiply CP. So this is these two are the formulas of selling price. Now we will write the formulas of cost price. If gain percent and uh, loss percent is given, then CP is equal to hundred upon hundred plus gain percent multiply hundred uh, multiply SP. This is the formula of CP if gain percent is given, and this is the formula of CP when loss percent is given hundred upon. Hundred minus loss percent multiply SP selling price. Now today we are doing try these page number one sixty nine chapter eight class seventh maths and CRT. This is question number one. A shopkeeper bought a chair for rupees three seventy five and sold it for rupees four hundred. Find the gain percent. Now we are required to find out the gain percentage. After writing formulas, now we are starting. Try this question number one. As we have read that part, shopkeeper bought a chair for rupees three sixty five. If shopkeeper bought that, then this is cost price of chair. This is rupees three seventy five. And sold it for rupees four hundred. Then this is selling price of the chair, rupees four hundred. Now here you can see what you can see is CP. Uh, SP is greater than CP. Now here you can see cost selling price is greater than the cost price. So definitely there is gain. Or we can say profit. Formula of gain is SP minus CP. Then we will apply SP minus CP here. Then 400 minus 375, and our answer is rupees 25. This is gain. 
बट क्वेश्चन इज आस्किंग फॉर द गेन परसेंट एंड वी हैव रिटर्न द गेन परसेंट फॉर्मूला गेन परसेंट इक्वल गेन अपॉन सी पी इन टू हंड्रेड नाउ हेयर वी विल मल्टीप्लाई बाय हंड्रेड नाउ गेन इज ट्वेंटी फाइव कॉस्ट प्राइज इज थ्री सेवेंटी फाइव नाउ वी विल मल्टीप्लाइड बाय हंड्रेड नाउ रिड्यूस इट बाय ट्वेंटी फाइव वन जै ट्वेंटी फाइव एंड फाइव जै वन ट्वेंटी फाइव देन इट इज दिस इज फिफ्टीन एंड फाइव ट्वेंटी जै हंड्रेड एंड फाइव थ्री जै फिफ्टीन सो आंसर इज ट्वेंटी अपॉन थ्री परसेंट सो इन दिस वे यू आर रिक्वायर्ड टू फाइंडिंग आउट नाउ दिस इज क्वेश्चन नंबर टू कॉस्ट ऑफ एन आइटम इज रुपीज फिफ्टी इट वॉज सोल्ड विद द प्रॉफिट ऑफ ट्वेल्व परसेंट फाइंड द सेलिंग प्राइज बिफोर स्टार्टिंग ऑफ दिस वीडियो इन द स्टार्टिंग ऑफ द वीडियो वी हैव डन दीज फॉर्मूलाज ऑल्सो एस पी इज इक्वल टू हंड्रेड प्लस गेन परसेंट अपॉन हंड्रेड इन टू सी पी नाउ दिस फॉर्मूला वी विल अप्लाई इन दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ इट इज क्वेश्चन नंबर टू कॉस्ट ऑफ एन आइटम इज रुपीज फिफ्टी इट वॉज सोल्ड फॉर प्रॉफिट ऑफ ट्वेल्व परसेंट नाउ कॉस्ट ऑफ एन आइटम मीन्स कॉस्ट प्राइज इट इज रुपीज फिफ्टी and here it is given profit of matlab gain percent it is 12 percent now i have told you a formula for finding sp when gain percent is given this formula is sp equal 100 plus gain percent upon 100 into cp now this formula we will apply Gain percent is twelve, so hundred plus twelve upon hundred multiply fifty. Zero will be reduced by zero, and five twos are ten. So here you can see it is one hundred twelve upon two. Now remove it; it will be fifty six. So here you can see it is rupees fifty six. It is question number three. An article was sold for rupees two fifty with a profit of five percent. What is the cost price? Cost price means CP. Now we are required to find uh, CP here. So formula of CP equal hundred upon hundred plus gain percent multiply SP. So this formula we will apply and find out the condition. Uh, find out the cost price. Now question number three. An article was sold for rupees two fifty with a profit of five percent. What is the cost price? Now this is given. This is selling price is given because at rupees two fifty it is sold. So we will write S P equal rupees two fifty, and profit percent means gain percent. Gain percent is. It is given how much five percent. now we are required to find cp formula of cp is we have written 100 upon 100 plus gain percent multiply sp this is the formula so gain percent is 5% so 100 plus 5 or sp is 250 so here you can see 100 upon 105 multiply 250 now you can cut it by 5 5 2s are and 5 zeros are 5 2s are and 5 1s are 21 now we will multiply it will be 5000 upon 21 now we will write it in whole we will write this in whole 21 2 is 
80 is left then 3 is a 21 2 is a 42 8 is left 80 then 3 is a 63 17 is left then 8 is a 168 then 20 is left then this will be the answer 238 whole 20 upon 21 it will be 2 upon 21 not 20 upon it will be 2 upon 21 now it is correct now this is question number 4 an item was sold for rupees 540 at a loss of 5 percent what was its cost price now here you can see loss is given so again formula of cp we will apply cp is equal to 100 upon 100 minus loss percent into SP and then we will find out the cost price. Now this is question number 4. It is given an article is sold for rupees 540. So this will be SP or it is of rupees 540 and loss percent is 5 percent. Now you are required to find cost price then formula of loss percent is 100 upon 100 minus loss percent multiply SP. Now here 100 upon 100 minus loss percent means 100 minus 5 and SP is 540. Now we are solving this it is 95 and it is 540 now you can cut it by 5 it is 20 it is 19 when you multiply then 54 to the 10800 upon 19 now here we are required to divide it 1080 divided by 19 then 19 5s are 95, then 13 is left, then 130, then 19, 6 are 114, and then 19, 8s are 152, 8 is left, so answer is rupees 568. 8 whole 568 whole 8 upon 19 this will be the answer of this question